somebody else. Details, details, details. I hope you get the picture on that. Next technique is to celebrate and anchor your successes. Blow them up. And of course, write them in your confidence journal. But when you have success, make a big deal about it. And what you want to do, what I mean by anchor, is have some kind of move or some kind of thing that you do that's very unique that you don't do for any other reason. Simple example, sorry to go to golf again, but Tiger Woods, one of the greatest golfers, whatever you think of him personally is irrelevant. He's still a great, one of the greatest of all time. Whenever he, if you, you could see this on video if you ever watch it, whenever he made a putt, unique. Right? I've had, uh, I've taught my clients to do things like a wrestler, I remember. Sorry, microphone. As soon as he did that, and so now, whenever he wanted to feel confident, he'd go and do that, like right before a match. You get that? There's simple little things you can do, like I've heard people do this right after they, because it's unique. It has to be something um, you wouldn't do for any other reason. And then every time you have a success, even if it's, a, it's one of those skills or achievements along the way to bigger goal success, you're anchoring, you're attaching. It's like Pavlov's dogs. The, the dogs responded to the bell and that meant food was coming. And then after a while, all the guy had to do was ring the bell. And the dogs, their body literally would start salivating because it thought food was coming. So it became an automatic response to trigger salivation. We had, were going to have an automatic response to trigger the release of chemicals of confidence. Yes. Next technique. 